Hello everyone, Intuitive Edge here once again. It's time to take a look at our week ahead. So let me grab the cards and I'll shuffle up and we'll be right back and get started. So I laid out the cards and uh, let's go over what we've got coming up for this week. So over the political, um, I pulled the lovers card. Now this is a card of strategic partnerships. Um, I'm using my Gilded Tarot Royale deck today and I was really drawn into this artwork and the imagery of this card. Now, as you see, there's a kind of a apparition type look of the knight, I guess. I hope you can see this okay. But anyway, he almost looks like translucent, like you can see through him. And the woman being kind of more of the central figure. I kind of spent some time looking at it to see what messages came through and what I really sensed was that this knighted male figure being translucent is like he's falling into the background or or becoming less relevant it's like he's fading away fading from view and the woman being more out front I got a woman partnership in the foreground and the man kind of fading into the background. So on the political stage, we could see something like that. Perhaps a male figure becoming less and less visible while the female is becoming more out front. Could translate with um, the current administration for the United States with the president fading into the background and the vice president becoming more out front. It's, that's a possible interpretation of that, but that's kind of what I see with it. Um, another thing that I found interesting, I was drawn to these two kind of, uh, I don't know what you'd call those, <laughs> little creatures up at the top, sitting on those pillars. And the one, it's kind of like a seraphim looking creature, and the one holding that light and the other one is like pulling into the darkness I, I got like a contrast between light and dark and this one that's pulling the light it's like these two figures here are being pulled over this way and it's a little I was just like feeling like a dark here and a light here and this one is like holding this light up so not sure the significance of that, but I was drawn to that. Um, like it would become more apparent, the light and dark aspects of what we're witnessing. Um, perhaps this light could represent um, grace, anointing, um, power, prestige, but it's, it's like it's being held up. And this is kind of devolving a little bit over here where these two are kind of leaning and anyway so I was getting like a contrast of light and dark now on society I had the ten of cups that's actually really nice so perhaps there may be a reprieve from some of the stresses that we've been seeing on society in general um, not only in the United States but maybe beyond as perhaps things start to kind of even out a little bit. Maybe people are feeling a little more balanced. And again, not every area is going to feel that way. There's, of course, all kinds of energies playing out around the world. But that felt kind of nice. I think it could be for the US, but just that's kind of a nice feeling and hopefully it translates to other places as well. But a nice feeling on the societal realm um, now we have the Wheel of Fortune coming out on the financial realm. Now that's kind of an interesting card. This is things that are set in motion that are just going to play themselves out because it looks like the ball rolling down the hill that can't be stopped. Now this Wheel of Fortune, it's got these gears. I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's gears kind of moving this, this piece here with the mechanisms and everything is like moving the way it should. I kind of feel in the financial realm that there may be some opportunities in the financial markets if people know 
what to do for trading and stuff. Um, I, I sensed a lot of activity this week in on Wall Street especially. So there could be, I just got a lot of like heightened, um, I don't know how to describe it, just heightened energy on Wall Street. So maybe a lot of active trading, um, maybe it could be, it could be fear-based, it could be just wanting to jump in on some new opportunity, um, perhaps just some interesting trades coming up, uh, people wanting to get in on, on what they think is going to be the next lucrative thing. Um, so I don't know if there's fear involved with it, but there's definitely a lot of energy around it. Um, now next is the Earth Weather card, and I got the strength on that. Um, now I do think things coming out in the Earth are going to be more pronounced. I think the Earth may be showing a show of strength this week. I do think that's going to translate as powerful Earth events this week. So whether there's, I sense some sort of weather event also, whether it's a tornado or or a tropical storm or something, um, could be even like an earthquake, possibly. But I just sense a lot of strength coming out with the earth, okay. Um, next is, what do we need to know? And we've got this card, the card of needing to use discernment and to be careful around hearsay, gossip, and really getting to the bottom of things and being smart. <laughs> so what do we need to know? We need to have discernment this week with, with things that we hear um, and not just believe everything that we hear. That's good advice any time of the year, but maybe that's gonna play out this week. This card was kind of interesting. This is on the question of what is hidden from view the Ten of Swords is a card of endings. Something is being, something is over and a new chapter is about to begin. And this is on what is hidden from view. Wow, so something is over that we don't see yet. Um, something's over and there's a new beginning just ahead. What area that plays out in, I think is in the political. When I feel into it, it feels like there's a shift or a change coming politically that we don't see yet. Something is done, something is over, but it's just playing itself out. And there's new growth underneath it. There's something new coming up in the political realms. But there's also an energy that's trying to downplay whatever is new. It's, it's kind of like the energy of breaking out of like a cocoon and it takes a lot of work to create something new and it's like the forces are aligned against the new but it's going to happen regardless okay so there is something new that's coming out what is the lesson this week we had the knight of pentacles on that question the knight of pentacles can sometimes mean things are slow moving. They're moving, but maybe not as quickly as we'd like to see. And that is the lesson, that things might appear to be not happening or slow, but this is to take heart that appearances aren't always the full picture. So if you're wanting something to happen quickly or wanting things to be different, just know that change sometimes happens slowly and we have to flow with the energy of, of the shift, of how things are shifting. If we try to rush something through that's not ready to happen, then the end result is not going to be as positive. So we work with what's in front of us with the energies of the week and just know that things are moving, okay? Now this is, interestingly enough, it's facing right back into that Ten of Swords, telling us that something new is brewing and the something that's over is still wrapping up and finishing up. So things have to shift and play out and it may not be as quick as some would like, okay? Now we have the Queen of Wands, 
um, on the outcome for this week. Now, for some reason, when I was looking at this card a little bit ago, I was really drawn to this curtain and this veil behind the queen. And I know you can't really see this on, on the video here, but there's looks like there's a little mountain in the background. And for some reason, my mind was just really drawn to the situation at La Palma, um, the volcano there. And I got that news would be more pronounced later on. I don't think it's going to be as, as much. I think the volcano will probably still be doing what it's doing this week. Um, but I, with this veil, it's like, it's right, like behind the veil. And I felt like it's coming out maybe next week that there may be some more significant news or significant information coming out about the situation there. But it's not yet. I don't think there's going to be any like major problems this week other than what it's already doing, which is it's going to continue to do what it's doing. Okay. That's what I get. Um, but as far as likes anything significant, I think maybe that might be later on, but not, not this week. At least that's what I'm sensing. So, um, okay. So that's what I get for this week. Um, I, I was encouraged to see some of the nice things like the 10 of cups on society and the wheel of fortune on the financial markets. So this week is about remembering to use discernment when we hear things to really seek out what the truth is and know that not everything we hear or see is going to be the truth. And that's this card here. So the, ten, the page of swords. Okay, so that's what I have for this week. Uh, should be, overall, there should be some nice energies happening this week, which may feel kind of welcome in some areas. Um, but again, there could be some weather events and earth changes and the earth showing her strength this week as well. So if you're in an area like that, just watch for that. Okay, that's what I have for this week. Um, thanks for joining me. We'll catch you next time in the next video. Bye for now.